hello hello booktubing world it is I Capri Nicole and I am back with another video so today I will do today I will do today I will be doing a book tag that I was tagged in so I think it's called the bad habit book tag I'm not 100% sure but she tagged me a while ago so I know I need to do this video get it done get it edited and post it so yeah I will link her video in the description box below so you guys can check it out and I will also leave the questions in the description so if you want to do the tag I'll tag a couple people do not tag me again <laughs> but I will leave the questions in the description box so you can check it out let's get into the video so the first question is binge drinking name a character that binge drinks so I don't have any character that I can think of that binge drinks except Nesta from Court of Frost and Starlight because she recently just started going for the worst like honey she is all tore down she's she's recovering from the war PTSD in a way that is like really really bad which means like drinking a lot sleeping with random guys so the only person that I could really think of was her and I hope she gets it together because she is one of my near and dear characters I like her attitude she's kind of mean sometimes but I do like her so she is the character that I chose for binge drinking the second one is biting your nails name a book that made you nervous so the one that I chose for this one is Empire of Storms by Sarah J Maas now this was the um I want to say was this the seventh one I don't know if she counts the prequels as number one or if she counts the book one as number one so I want to say this is either book five or book six because Kale's book came out after and this book had me on the edge of my chair because everything was popping off. There were so many plot twists, there was so many so much character development, character connections, like it was a lot going on, especially in the ending. I was just like, what is going to happen? And then the closer and closer I got to the end, I was just like, how, why? And then the end, and the ending was just like mind blowing. And this series finishes in October and I cannot wait to get my hands on that damn book like it's first of all I saw the cover which I will put right here and it is absolutely gorgeous like I need that book and I don't know if it's our version or if it's the UK version that has a like shiny gold like color but I swear to god I hope it's ours because I swear the UK gets better book covers but yeah this is the book that I chose for that kept me on the edge of my seat because I was biting my nails honey the third one is unhealthy eating name a book that involved eating disorders or unhealthy habits so I chose so I chose Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi so I chose this book because I don't really have that many books that have like eating disorders or bad eating habits in the book um, but I remember this one specifically that had like controlled eating the princess in this book Amari her mother controlled a lot of what she ate just to keep her a specific size and I just I hate that so much so that's the only thing that I could that this was the only book that I could think of that had like a eating disorder kind of in here but it wasn't really a disorder it was kind of like just like controlled eating and like minimal eating which was insane but yeah the next one is staying up late. Pick a book that had you staying up past your bedtime. So I chose The Sacred Lives of Minnow Blade by Stephanie Oakes. Now this book I read a while ago when um, I want to say like two years ago when I was in a book club and we would meet up and we would read different books and that's how I started off my book journey because I was like I really wanted to just like get into it. After I finished reading the Harry Potter series I really wanted to just like dip and dive into other books so I joined a book club and this was one of the first books that we read and it follows the main character Minnow who is in a cult. A whole bunch of stuff goes down she breaks free and she ends up in jail so and she has no hands. So this book was just like crazy to me but it was so well written and it, it kept me on the edge of my seat and I really wanted to know what she was going to do next, what was going to happen. Um, just the way that they, the, the, the cult members thought, it just like kind of blew my mind. Like I was just very interested in this book and it was one of, you know, the starter books that I read in the book club and it was just out of the norm of some, certain things that I would read because I usually don't read books about cults and stuff like that. I'm more of like magic fantasy type reader so this book was very very interesting to me and I really enjoyed it and it kept me up way past my bedtime I was trying to finish this book in a day but it was not happening so I ended up going to sleep at like one in the morning or something like that and I still had a good chunk left so yeah the next one is procrastination pick a book that you keep saying that you're gonna read but you have not read it yet so for this one I chose <sighs> The Red Sister by Mark Lawrence now this book 
I keep saying that I'm going to read, but I don't because this is actually my first book that I did not finish because I just was not connecting with the storyline. Like, I didn't know what the hell was going on. I didn't understand the premise of the book. I didn't really connect with the main character. So I was really confused for a majority of this book. And then it put me into like a month and a half book slump, which I was just like not having. So I had to put this book down. And I keep saying that I want to give it another chance because it was a lot of things going on at work. And I was like, well, maybe that's why I'm not really connecting with this book. So I really wanted to give it another chance um, and see if I actually do finish or if maybe I just, you know, was out of it as far as like reading this book. I do plan on attempting to reread this book just to see if I do finish it because I feel bad for not giving it a chance because it's had really good reviews and the premise of this book has a really strong female main character so I will try to give it a shot. The next bad habit is swearing. Pick a book that had a main character that swore a lot. I, I just finished this book up. It was The Astonishing Color of After. So the main character Lee and she was a teenager and a lot of the things she Almost everything she said had a swear word in it, so yeah, I chose that one as the swearing bad habit. The seventh bad habit is smoking. So pick a book that you cannot get enough of, enough of that you are highly addicted to. So the book that I chose for that one is Night of Cake and Puppets by Lonnie Taylor. So this book is like a spinoff to the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series. It's just um, two of the side characters that's her best friend and a love interest and how they fell in love. And this book is just like super cute. I could read this book 15 times and never get sick of it. She's really funny. I really connected with her more than I connect connected with the main character in Daughter of Smoke and Bone. So when she got her little spinoff book, I was super excited. And the way that they fell in love was so cute. And it has pictures in it. And it's just like really detailed and I love this book. I just cannot get enough of it. So as you can see, it has cute pictures in it. Oh, where's the one of them kissing? Like, can we please take a moment for like this amazing picture? I love this book so freaking much. Oh my God. The next bad habit is overspending. Name a book that you spent a lot of money on. So I don't really have that many books that I spent a lot of money on. I feel like um, my hardcover books are more expensive. They're probably like 17, 18, sometimes $21, but that's like average. And then sometimes I'll get soft cover books. But the most expensive book that I have is Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets Illustrated. Now, I still have not even touched this book because it's so fragile to me, like, and I'm kind of not destructive with my book, but sometimes food gets in it or stains, and I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of a careless reader. So I just, I want to just like guard this with my life and my heart. So I have not even touched this book yet. I'm just letting it sit on my shelf and be beautiful. But this book was, how much was this book? So this book was $40. <laughs> But it was worth every damn penny, okay? And it's going to look beautiful on my shelf and just sit there because it's gorgeous. As you can see, it has some gorgeous freaking illustrations in it. Like, can't, like, come on. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Like, yes. Oh, my goodness. And I want every single copy of these. So do not judge me. I know there's other people out there have, that have bought this book. So you can't judge me at all. But this was my most expensive book, and I don't regret purchasing it. But I will read it eventually, so yeah. The next one is Lying. Name a book that you said that you read and you know you did not. So I don't have a book for this because I don't, ha I don't have any books that I say that I read, but I really didn't because I would never do that. Because I would never want to tell somebody that I read a book and they did, and then they start talking about it and getting all into it, and then they spoil a ton of stuff for me. That would just be a living nightmare. So I have not ever done that before I just go to the next question and the final one is speeding name a book that you read really fast so a book that I read really fast was we oh my god why is it sticky oh. my book is sticky if you haven't checked out my wax book challenge I will leave it in the description box below but there was a part where wax got on one of my books and I almost died inside and this was a book that the wax got on so it's a little sticky on the back Oh, that's super annoying. So the book that I chose for this one was We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. So 
this book I literally finished like in a day and a half. I was reading this book while I was getting the tattoo and it was just so good. I wanted to know what was going to happen and it was just like driving me crazy. Like I don't know if I could do thrillers because I would literally stop everything or be multitasking even more than I already multitask because I was like getting tattoos, grocery shopping, doing all this stuff and every second of every day of everything that I was doing I had this book in my hand. I finished this book in like a day and a couple hours. Like I flew through it. It was a pretty quick read and I just absolutely love this book and I want to read it again. I want to read it again now knowing what I know. So that might be a possibility. So that is all for this tag. Those are all 10 of the bad habits and I hope you enjoyed this video. Always remember, read a book, keep your life interesting and I will see you guys.